lift it, push it on off. So one of the things that we were inexperienced with when getting this boat was having a front mounted trolling motor. We've always had a transom mount. We didn't know how the pedal worked or really how the whole system worked. So for this video, I just wanted to kind of go over how a front mounted trolling motor works along with how to steer with your foot pedal. The trolling motor that comes with the Bass Tracker Classic is the Minn Kota Edge. So that's the trolling motor that we're gonna be demonstrating today. Before we get started on setting up, launching, and using the trolling motor, I wanted to review the foot pedal, and in a moment you'll see why. The foot pedal works by pivoting down or up to turn left or right. This button here is what can control activating the motor or turning off the motor, depending on the selection that you have it set to. The selection is controlled by this switch down here. The MOM option will allow you to use the trolling motor as needed. This mode and you push the button, the trolling motor will activate. If you put it on CON or continuous mode, the motor will continuously run. I find that using the MOM mode works for most situations, but if you're trying to cover a little bit of a distance, the continuous mode would be the better option in that situation. Now, the reason I wanted to go over this before we talked about anything else, including plugging in the motor, is because if you accidentally leave this on continuous, or it gets knocked to continuous, and you plug in your trolling motor, the blade will start spinning. Now, I like to keep the motor with the blade facing outward, but when we received our boat, it was flipped the other way, and the blade will dig right into this pad if you accidentally have that turned on. So before you turn in your trolling motor, make sure it's switched to off. Now, now we'll get into the steering a little bit later in the video, but the other feature of the pedal that I wanted to go over was the power or the speed. You see here you have a rotary selection. I find that one and two are really, if you're just in a very tight spot and looking for minor increments. Three is what I use most of the time when trolling along a shore. But if it's windy, I will crank it up to a five. And five I also feel helps when there's um, a lot of plants under the water. Uh, five and the weedless wedge, which we'll also go over, works really well in cutting through grasses. All right, to get started with the trolling motor, you need to lift the lid up, and then we're going to be plugging the socket into the designated area. There's only one direction that this can go in. You just want to make sure it's seated all the way down, and you can let go of the flap. Now that we've reviewed plugging in the trolling motor and how to use the basics of the foot pedal, I'm going to take this out on the lake and show you guys how to steer it, as well as how to launch it. We plugged it in here. There's our pedal. Just pull this handle off of its holder. Pull it underneath. We're gonna pull it pretty firmly and hold it. This is gonna disengage the lock. Lift it, push it on off. So for this demonstration, I have it switched into the MOM or momentary mode. This will allow me to use the trolling motor by pressing on the switch for acceleration. If you look on the top of the motor, there is an arrow which points in the direction that the front of the boat will go when you apply power. I also demonstrate um, object maneuverability. You have some pretty good control. You can see the clump of grass there I was able to steer around. One of the great things about having that weedless wedge is I could have plowed right through that and it would have chewed it up with no problem. So yeah, as you can see, tilting the pedal one way will turn the arrow to the right, tilting it the other way will turn it to the left, and your boat will follow. Now that we've gone over how to launch and steer with the trolling motor, there's two more things I wanted to go over real quick. There's one feature that I think is lost on a few folks when they first get their motor but this is actually a storage for your handle after you've pulled the motor back up to the boat this can actually sit right on top and it will stay there securely the last item I wanted to go over was almost a little mini review of the weedless wedge 2 
Now, this was one of the first upgrades I did on the trolley motor because the lake we go to has a lot of weeds. This has kept us going through the thickest vegetation. I would have never expected a trolley motor to work through. Nothing gets wrapped around the actual motor because on the weedless wedge, the casing actually goes over the prop shaft opening. The original actually sat somewhere up here. And if you had stringy vegetation or even fishing line or stuff like that, it can very easily get wrapped around the prop shaft as you're using this. The design of the weedless wedge has been cutting through things perfectly as far as vegetation, and there has been no wrapping around the trolling motor. You've seen in the video some of the dense vegetation I tried to avoid in explaining the directional movements of the trolling motor, but it really could have cut right through it with no problem. It almost looks and acts like a weed whacker under the water. It's, it's pretty impressive. If you're interested in getting the weedless wedge prop blade upgrade, it's a very easy installation. There's only one nut here that comes off. There's a bar that slots through the propeller shaft that gets seated in the actual trolling motor housing and then the nut gets screwed back on. Um, all the necessary hardware comes with the weedless wedge so uh, you don't have to buy anything else. I highly, highly recommend this as an upgrade to your, to your trolling motor. All right, so that's how you use your trolling motor. I hope this helps some of you new boaters out there. It was a mystery to us until we got out there on the water. So uh, it would have been nice having a little information getting out there. If this was helpful to you guys, you know, please leave a like, comment, and definitely subscribe for more videos. Have a good one.